Welcome to Caribbean Global Network News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Today's headlines, Jamaican financial sector concerned over U.S. currency. And in sports, gold for Alea in Tokyo. There is a growing concern within the financial sector over the large volumes of hard currency being shipped from Jamaica, upwards of $50 million monthly, which cannot adequately be justified. This legitimizes the de-risking concerns being exhibited towards Jamaica by foreign banks which are refusing to hold U.S. cash on behalf of their local counterpart. Peter Higgins, a member of the Bank of Jamaica BOJ Foreign Exchange Code Working Group, admitted that, quote, too much cash is being shipped from Jamaica, and to a great extent it cannot be explained, end quote. Speaking at the Jamaica Observer Monday Exchange, he cited this as the main reason foreign banks are refusing to hold U.S. cash on behalf of their Jamaican counterparts, citing de-risking concerns. Higgins made the point that two years ago, a study which showed that upwards of 40 to 50 million U.S. dollars cash was being shipped from Jamaica on a monthly basis. Most of this money is not coming directly from the banking sector. Ombudsman weighs in on PNP Basil Waite's comments. Donna Parchment Brown, political ombudsman, has stepped in to address a matter related to comments made by Deputy General Secretary of the People's National Party, Basil Waite. Parchment Brown's intervention comes following a Generation 2000 request, G2K, the young professional affiliate of the Jamaica Labour Party, who condemned the comments by Waite and lodged a complaint with her office. Stephen Edwards, president of G2K, in a letter to the Ombudsman, described the comments made by Waite on a political platform in St. Elizabeth on July 21 about JLP supporters as highly unacceptable and unbecoming. According to G2K, that incident is the latest in a series of detestable public statements made by spokespersons for the PNP that have seemingly gone unaddressed by the PNP's leadership. Edwards made it clear he wanted the intervention of the Ombudsman as the comments trample on the principles of political tolerance and respect. She says she also heard a recording of the comments complained about by G2K. At the meeting, Waite described the JLP supporters as nasty negadem. Wait has since made a public apology. And in sports, whitewash for Windies as India win match in Guyana. India completed a 2020 series whitewash of West Indies with a dominant seven-wicket victory in the third and final match in Guyana on Tuesday. The tourists had already clinched the series with a pair of victories at Lauder Hill in the United States, and they cruised in their chase of 147 at Providence Stadium. Kieran Pollard hit six maximums in his 58 to help the Windies recover from a 14 for 3 to 146 for 6 after Deepak Shahar produced a devastating spell, taking 3 for 4 in just his second T20 international. However, that total still proved well short of what was required as Captain Virat Kohli, 59, and Rishabh Pan, 65, not out, combined for a third wicket partnership of 106 as India reached 150 for 3 with five balls to spare. The focus will now shift to a three-match ODI series in which the Windies will need to start their innings in significantly better fashion after losing three wickets in the first four overs to Shahar. Goal for Alea at Swimming World Cup in Tokyo. After a slow start in the series opener, Jamaica's champion swimmer Alea Atkinson of South Florida Aquatic Club bounced back to win a gold medal at the FINA Swimming World Cup in Tokyo, Japan earlier this week. The four-time Jamaican Olympian and short-course world record holder won the 50-meter breaststroke in 30.35 seconds, ahead of Satomi Suzuki of Japan in 31.09 seconds, with Alina Zmushka, 31.12, of Belarus in third. Atkinson still holds the championship record of 30.26 seconds, set in November 2015. Atkinson was coming off of the FINA World Championships, her best place fourth. She was also ninth in the 100-meter breaststroke in a minute 8.87 seconds and 19th in the 50-meter butterfly in 27.57 seconds in the FINA World Cup opener. Tokyo is the first stop of the first cluster and site of the 2020 Summer Olympic Games, giving Atkinson a sneak preview of the city and Olympic fever. The remaining two stops are in Jinan, China on August 8 to 10 and Singapore on the 15 to 17. That's it for your CGN News and Sports. I'm Scott Wilson. Pleasant view.